We're here in Pam's kitchen, and uh, today we're gonna fix her uh, the display on her stove. So this is an LG oven stove combo thing. Um, it's working just fine, except this stuff is starting to crack. I just cracked that a little while ago. There's a little piece that just came off there. I thought I broke it, but apparently it was being broken for a while. Uh, you see how it's cracking there? Because it's a touch thing, not much travel. And I guess because of the heat and age, it will just start to crack. So what we did is we looked up the model online, found the part. Uh, this particular uh, stove came in white, black, and in stainless steel. Uh, I think black would have been just fine, a black panel, because it would be the inverse of this one. But we did find a white panel online, there it is. And we just ordered the part. And there's a service manual you can find online. And that's what we're going to follow today to replace it. Let's look too difficult. Looks like it's just a couple of these ribbons. And that's it. Everything else is mechanical. Probably just a bunch of screws. Right? What do you think, Xavier? You think we can handle that? Maybe. I think we can. Let's get started. All right, so uh, this is uh, Pam's stove from the back. And obviously, uh, so obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to unplug the power uh, because we're going to mess with power stuff. This also gives you the opportunity to clean underneath your your oven, which is probably filthy dirty. This is the aftermath of uh, of Pam actually cleaning it all up. Looks great now. What do you think, Pam? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So mechanically, it looks pretty easy. It looks like just a few screws. I've actually downloaded the, the PDF manual, and it has step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything here, including really nice flow charts. There it is, right? It's a really nice PDF service manual, including flow charts on what to do in case stuff goes wrong. But it all looks pretty simple. Famous last words. Famous last words. It looks like it's just, take that off, take that off there. Cover this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw. And we'll see how it goes. So I've taken off the, the case there. Another opportunity to, to clean that up. Um, the great thing about trying to fix this stuff in the, in the modern era is you can take pictures, or in this case video, of what it looks like, so that when you go back, you can see what it looks like after the fact. There you go. Okay. So you can't really mess it up. Looks like there's just these connectors there going into it. Doesn't look too difficult. Right, those are the same ribbon connectors that we see. screws but there's some screws underneath here we can't get to so we've got to take the back off this just so we can get this little bit to remove that because that's where the last screw is underneath there so lots of unscrewing just to get at one little screw but we'll get there uh, screws in the front here and we're gonna see if that's a little shortcut otherwise we're gonna to have to disassemble the whole thing here just to get at those screws but we're hoping this is a little shortcut yeah, trusty assistant now is holding it in place and that's all I needed to get at was that one screw down there and then eventually I can take the the board off and then replace the panel. Okay, I need to take off the board but just so I know where everything goes back in place. Probably keep the board plugged in and just disconnect the panel. Yeah, I think so. Alright, and they look pretty easy. That's these ones right here, which line up with our spare part there. Because otherwise we're going to have to take off everything from the board, which we don't want. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> take off the ribbons. The ribbons have little... If you've ever worked on computers, it's the same kind of thing as uh, keyboard ribbon cables and stuff. They should pop right up. See that? Popped up. Here, so I know to put the other one in exactly the same way. But I think these are pretty much impossible to put upside down. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. take off this little grounding uh, strap or wire, and then I've taken off the power supply here. Uh, it's a good idea to take pictures to make sure they go back the same way, but they seem to be 
key to anyway, so they'll only go in one way. But the reason we're removing these is just so we can move. Well, actually, I think we're okay. I don't know, because the power supply is literally bolted onto the uh, the panel, so we'll have to move it over to that one to our replacement. So yeah, we do need to pull off the power supply. Right, just those two, the other one can stay. Anything else that needs to come off? Do you need to do that green thing over here? Green thing, I think it would be good like this. We do need to take off the other ground over there, yeah. But then, there's the there's panel. There's a couple of screws there too, we gotta take it. Oh, more than a couple. I got there's you, I see one A whole bunch. And then, that's the panel. Then we should be able to put it back the way it was. All right. Good luck. Can I feel my arms or okay. hands or elbows? Really? No. Well, we've got the old part out, I think. What? What? Yeah. I just need to take the power supply off it and put it on the other one. You can lay that down. Yeah, can you lay it down? Yeah, take that off there. Now we're going to have to take the power supply off that and put it on this new one before we mount it. Okay? Yeah, on that. No, don't mount it yet. Like I just said, you need to put the power supply out there. Let me zoom out here. Okay, so now we've uh, replaced, we've taken the power supply off the uh, old one, put it on the new one, and we're just going to basically reverse the steps to put the new panel up against the uh, board assembly. Plug it all by, back in, and it should work, we hope, right? Okay, so we got the replacement panel on. Pam is starting to lose it. See, there's the re replacement panel, it's on. Oh, still have the little plastic wrap on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we got the the ground stuff back in. We got the panel back in. Now we're just gonna put these ribbon cables back in. And they look simple enough, right? You can only do it one way. And that one there. And then we'll put, what? You can't be saying that's what she said on the appliance repair video. And put the power supply back in. They're nice and mm -hmm. Well, it's not plugged in so it wouldn't do that. But they're keyed so you can only put them back in one direction. That's good. Hold on to it. I'm going to put it. Jeez, tell me I need to work Okay, lift it up. Okay, now you're going to break it. Hold on. Okay. Pull out towards you. Well, I don't want to... I know, I know. You. Okay, you need to hold it in place so I can push this in. Okay. There you go. That was easy. Um... Uh, that's what she said. Okay. Mm, that was easy. We need a staples button. <laughs> okay, so now uh, I put these ribbon cables down. In. I gotta hold, uh, stop the video to do that. Because I only have two hands. Bone. What? Put your bone. In there. See these little holes on the ribbon cable? They'll click into the little latches there. Uh, so make sure you push them in all the way before you lower the little gate. Okay, that should do it. Hopefully, I'll give it a little tug. Good. Good. Looking good. That's everything connected back in. So now we can remount it and try the to test it. Are you okay, Pam? Are you doing okay? Yes, come on. My arms are tired. So what, it's, the case is still off there and we haven't oh, screwed anything back in, back in place. But uh, we're just doing a quick test to make sure everything works before we screw it back in. Looks good, right? Yeah, do you wanna just uh, no. maybe turn it on just qu real quick to make sure something still works? Let's move this stuff in. Getting hot. Yep, turn off. Good, it works. All right, nice. We'll do the quick the peeling of this at the end of the video. Okay, good. Okay, so now that we're all done, Pam is going to remove the plastic and then set the clock. What do you think, Pam? How did I do? You know, oh, don't tell me we're supposed to take this plastic off. Yeah. Before. Before you put, you're supposed to take it off before we put the piece on. Okay, we're gonna have to disassemble the whole thing. Not freaking like me. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, we probably weren't supposed to take it off first. <laughs> that's okay, it'll come off. 
our very boring video you can find some uh, links down below but uh, don't forget to subscribe